Thank you. Um, before I start my little variety show, I'm an actor and a singer, and like um, Barry said, I uh, got a degree in musical theater, had uh, university uh, education, just like uh, the ladies right here. So, but this is um, when when Barry asked me to do this. This is very personal for me. I just want to let you know that. Um, I just short little anecdotal story. I'm the child of uh, I'm the baby in the family. Seven kids, raised in Ohio, in a Midwest family, and we weren't really rich. Not a whole lot of money. Okay. And I wanted to do musical theater. I sang in bands, rock and roll, top 40, but I fell in love with musical theater. And I wanted to go to school, so I auditioned for colleges. The college that I wanted to go to was CCM, Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music, because it was the only one at the time that gave you a BFA in musical theater. Not a very cheap school. My family could not afford to pay for me to go to college, and I'm the only one in my family that went to college, out of all my family. You remember the movie Rudy? Remember when he got that envelope, that final envelope, and he found out that he was accepted to Notre Dame? That's the feeling I had, because what happened was, I got my acceptance letters and I looked at that envelope, and lo and behold, I got into CCM. And also it said, you are now the beneficiary of this scholarship, of this scholarship, and of this next scholarship. And it's because of people like Barry Edelman that I'm standing here, and I had a whole career in New York City performing because of the, the kind of things that Barry Edelman does. So that's just... <laughs> My little stick for that. Thanks. So thanks to Barry Edelman here. The water. I do a 60s, 70s variety show. So I'm going to give you some Sinatra, some nostalgia. I love singing to the original tracks so that you get the full nostalgia, okay? So before, without further ado, let me start my show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mark Rath. This is music for humanity. Let's have a great time. Just in time. I have found you just in time. Before you came, my time was running low. I was lost. Losing dice were tossed. My bridges all across, nowhere to go. Now you're here, and now I know just where I'm going. No more doubt or fear, I've found my way. For oh, love came just in time, you found me just in time. And change my lonely life that lonely day. And I want to thank Noble Coffee Roasters for hosting number 155. Very Amy for 18 years of volunteering. And thank you all for your kind support. I was running low. Woo. I was lost. Losing dice with talk. Bridges all across, nowhere to go. Now you're here, and now I know just where I'm going. No more doubt or fear. I found my way. For love came just in time. You found me just in time. And change my lonely life that lonely, lonely life that lonely. You change my life that lonely day. Mr. Frank Sinatra, thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Now, that song was taken straight out of the Great American Songbook, and we used to listen to those, all those songs on what? Those 33 and a third albums, right? And what did we play those albums on? Remember the stereo hi-fis? Raise your hands if you remember the stereo hi-fis, right? And mom and dad said, if you play an album, you make sure you put it back in the sleeve and you put it back up on that shelf because we don't want to scratch the records, all that stuff, right? We listened to Perry Como, Nat King Cole, Longines Symphonette Society, Ray Conniff Classics, Victimo, absolutely, all of those, right? All the great singers, and that was the music that we used to play when mom and dad were home. Remember when mom and dad left the house? We grabbed that stacker, we threw it on down on top of that spindle, and we would grab our stacks of 45s, right? And we would open up the doors, and we would open up the windows, and we would share with the world songs like this. I got a song and ain't got no melody I'm gonna sing it to my friends I got a song and ain't got no melody But I'm gonna sing it to my friends Will it go around in circles? Or will it fly high like the bird up in the sky so long? Or will it go around in circles? Or will it fly high like a bird up in the sky? I got a story, ain't got no moral. Let the bad guy win, everyone wants to know why. I got a story, ain't got no moral. No. Let the bad guy win, everyone wants to know why. Or will it go around in circles? Or will it fly high like a bird up in the sky? Ooh, will it go around in circles now? Or will it fly high like a bird up in the sky? Right. Oh, God, the dancing got no steps, no. Gonna let the music move. I got a dancer, ain't got no steps. I'm gonna let that music move me around. Will it go around in circles, Baba? Or will it fly high like a bird up in the sky? Or will it go around in circles, baby? Or will it fly high like a bird up in the sky? Now let's flash back. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, those, that was one of the 45s that we played. One of the first 45s that I ever listened to, and one of the first songs that I learned, was a 1959 hit by Mr. Johnny Horton. See, if you remember this, I was six years old. I'll let you guys do the math. Okay? In 1814, we took a little trip along with Colonel Jackson down the mountain. 
in Mississippi. We took a little bacon and we took a little beans and we caught the bloody British in it down in New Orleans. We fired our guns and the British kept coming. There wasn't as many as there was a while ago. We fired one score and they began to run. Go down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. We looked down the river and we see the British come and there must have been a hundred of them beating on the drum. The steps so high and the bigger bugles ring. We stood beside a cotton bales, didn't say a thing. We fired our guns and the British kept them coming. There wasn't as many as there was a while ago. We fired once more and they began to run. Go down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, Hickory said we could take them by surprise If we didn't fire our muskets till we looked them in the eyes We held our fire till we seen their faces well Then we opened up with squirrel guns and really gave them well We fired our guns and the British kept them coming There wasn't as many as there was a while ago We fired once more and they began to run On down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico We grabbed an alligator and we fought another round. We filled his head with cannonballs and powdered his behind. And when we touched the powder, all the gator lost his mind. We fired our guns and the British kept coming. There wasn't as many as there was a while ago. We fired once more and they began to run. Pulled down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Everybody! second song that I learned when I was seven years old, Do the Math. Remember this one? Let's go. 
you don't know the rush is on. North to Alaska, you don't know the rush is on. North to Alaska, North to Alaska. I think it's way up north. I think it's over in the bay. North to Alaska, Johnny Horton, 1960. Great song. Thank you, thank you very much. Barry uh, mentioned a wonderful uh, singer-songwriter who recently passed away, who happened to have a Broadway show a few years back, and the name of that Broadway show was, hint, hint, Escape to Margaritaville. Oh, yeah. Here is, get your salt shakers ready. If you don't have salt shakers, you can shake your, uh, your, your sugar shakers or whatever. But Escape to Margaritaville, this is, of course, Mr. Jimmy Buffett. Nibbling on sponge cake, watching the sun bake. All of those beauties coming on. Rubbing my six string on my front porch swing. Smelling no shrimp there beginning to fall. Wasted away again in Margaritaville. Searching for my lost shaker of salt. 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 You got it. Some people claim that there's a woman to blame. Now I think it's nobody's fault. I don't know the reason. I stayed here all season. Got nothing to show but this brand new tattoo. It's a real beauty, a Mexican cutie. How it got here, I haven't a clue. Wasted away again in Margaritaville, searching for my lost shaker of salt. Some people claim that there's a woman to blame. Now I think, hell, it could be my fault. This is my salt shaker. Oh, I can taste that margarita right now. And those shrimp, too.
Now before I do this next song, Barry, this song's for you. Now, I don't know how many people you know this, but Barry was born in Brooklyn, right Barry? Okay. Now this particular tribute, this song, is a wonderful song by a singer, a songwriter that we grew up with and listened to through the 60s and 70s all the way up to the present. A wonderful singer, songwriter by the name of Neil Diamond. And he happens to have a Broadway show running right now called what? A Beautiful Noise. I gotta tell you a quick story. I don't know whether any of you saw this on YouTube. He happened to come see the show. And one of his big songs was Sweet Caroline, remember? And what happened? He was there at the show. And as the curtain came down, they, they kept the curtain up. The cast stayed on stage. The orchestra stayed in the pit. And the audience stayed. They came up to the balcony, the low seat right there, it was right next to the stage, and they handed him a microphone, and the orchestra started playing Sweet Caroline. Now he's 82, and he was just diagnosed with Parkinson, and he could still sing. And he sat there, he stood there and started singing, and the chorus, you know, Sweet Caroline, the whole, all, you got it. The audience all sang with him. The orchestra pits sang with him, and the, everybody on the stage. It just gave me cold chills. It was wonderful. Great story. This story, I know, is about him growing up in Brooklyn. You'll recognize this one. And this one's for you, Barry. If I can get it going, get it. Great song. So when it's time for supper, hurry on. And you see two boys racing up two flights of staircase, squirming into Papa's embrace. And his whiskers warm on their face, where's it gone? First door on the right And life filled to the brim As I stood by my window And looked out on the Does he dream what I did as he 
stands by my window and looks out on the Brooklyn stories, right? Let me turn the page. I want to keep up with my, my little thing here because I want to take you on a little journey here. Now those of you who remember Jimmy Dean, you remember he had, a lot of us remember him having sausages, right? Do you remember that he had a hit song back in 1961? And guess what? He didn't really sing much, but this was a big hit in 1961. Big John, Big John. Every morning at the mine, you could see him arrive. He stood six foot six and weighed 245, kind of broad on the shoulder, there at the hip. And everybody knew you didn't give no lip to Big John. Everybody. Big John. Big John, Big Bad John, Big John. Nobody seemed to know where John called home. He just drifted into town and stayed all alone. He didn't say much, kind of quiet and shy. And if you spoke at all, you just said hi to Big John. Somebody said he came from New Orleans where he got in a fight for a Cajun queen and a crash and blow from a huge right hand sent a Louisiana fella to the promised land, Big John. Big John. There you go. Big John. Big Bad John. Big John. Then came the day at the bottom of the mine when a timber cracked and men started crying. Miners were afraid and hearts beat fast and everybody thought to death breathe their last, said John. Through the dust and the smoke of this man made a hell, walked a giant of a man that the miners knew well, grabbed a sagging timber and laid out with a groan and like a giant old tree just stood there alone. Strength, he gave a mighty shove, then a miner yelled out, There's a light up above! A 20 minute scramble from a would be grave, and now there's only one that is down there to save Big John. With Jackson Timbers, they started back down, then came that rumble way down in the ground, and the smoke and gas belched out of that mine. Everybody knew it was the end of the line for Big John. Big John. Big John, Big Bad John, Big John. And now they never reopened that worthless pit. They just placed a marble stand in front of it. These few words are written on that stand. At the bottom of this mine lies a big, big man, Big John. Big John. Big bad John. Big John. Big bad John. Big John. He was so big. Big John. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Great song. I don't. I don't. I wonder how many millions he sold just on that one one album. You know. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd love to go nostalgia. So let's just take you back to the age of black lights, strobe lights, lava lamps, and the peace and love movement with a little bit of Buffalo Springfield. There's something happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. There's a man with a gun over there. Telling me I got to beware. 
I think it's time we stop children. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Everybody's right if everybody's wrong. Young people speak in their minds. Are getting so much resistance from behind. It's time we stop. Hey, what's that sound? Everybody, look what's going down. Thank you. How about that for 
nostalgia. Let's take us back here. But, but just down, the, not that far away, we have Woodstock, right? There you go. Another singer-songwriter, fabulous songwriter, great guitar player, storyteller, life storyteller. A man by the name of Harry Chapin. What a story. A child arrived just the other day. He came in the world in the usual way, but there were planes to catch and bills to pay. He learned to walk while I was away, and he was talking for I knew it, and as he grew, he'd say, I'm gonna be like you, Dad, you know I'm gonna be like you. And the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon, little boy blue and the man in the moon, when you're coming home, Dad, I don't know when, but we'll get together then, we're gonna have a good time then. son turned 10 just the other day he said thanks for the doll dad come on let's play can you teach me to throw i said and not today i got a lot to do he said that's okay and he walked away but his smile never did and said i'm gonna be like him yeah you know i'm gonna be like him and the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon little boy do it the man in the moon when you're coming home, Dad, I don't know when, but we'll get together then, son. You know we'll have a good time then. Well, he came from college just the other day. So much like a man I just had to say. Son, I'm proud of you. Can you sit for a while? He shook his head and he said with a smile, what I'd really like, Dad, is to borrow the car keys. See you later, can I have them, please? And the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little boy blue and the man in the moon. When you're coming home, son, I don't know when. But we'll get together then, and you know we'll have a good time then. I've long since retired, my son spoke away. I called him up just the other day. I said, I'd like to see you if you don't mind. He said, I'd love to, Dad, if I could find the time. You see, my new job's a hassle and the kids are the flu. But it's sure nice talking to you, Dad. It's been sure nice talking to you. And as I hung up the phone, it occurred to me, he'd grown up just like me. My boy was just like me. And the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little boy blue and the man in the moon. When you're coming home, son, I don't know when. But we'll get together then, Dad. You know we'll have a good time then. Is that a great song or what? I tell you. Now, as Barry knows, I had, I was fortunate enough to get scholarships and got a chance to go to college and get a degree in musical theater. And I got to do it for almost 30 years. 30 years. Now, <clears throat> I did Broadway, off-Broadway, national tours, industrials, voiceovers, you name it. I worked that contract, probably, right? They don't just give you those jobs. Your agent calls you and said, listen, Mark, listen, I got an audition for it. It's a Broadway show. They need a big baritone sound. I need a drink of water for this one. 
So most people of my colleagues would go and do, oh, big baritone sound, go right to Rogers and Hammerstein and do, there's a bright golden haze on the meadow, right? You do something like that. But one of my favorite singers growing up, listening on those albums when I was a kid, was Mr. Robert Goulet. Now, how many people know he got his, had his Broadway debut Camelot. in Camelot and sang and played the role of Lancelot? Now, Mike, Robert Goulet had a fantastic voice and had a particular way and style of singing. And my, my fellow colleagues in musical theater liked to kind of tease about the way that he would sing. His big song was, you know, If Ever I Would Leave You, right? And we would say he'd sing it like this. If ever I would leave you, it wouldn't be in summer, never, just seeing you. That's the way it would say it, right? Well, I took that, a song that he did called She Touched Me. It was, he, it was called He Touched Me, and it used to be done in a musical called Brat the Cat. It was sung by Barbara Streisand. What he did, <laughs> he took that same arrangement, gave it a Vegas big band twist, and called it She Touched Me. This is... Robert Goulet, she touched me. She touched me. She put her hand near mine and then she touched me. I felt a sort of tingle when she touched me. A sparkle. was an accidental night, nah, she knew it. She smiled and seemed to tell me so all through it. She knew it, I know. She's real, the world is alive and shining. Such a wonderful drive toward Valentine. And she touched me. I simply have to face the fact she touched me. Can't throw myself and try to act as if I remember my name. But she touched me. Oh, yeah, she touched me. myself and try to act as if I remember my name, but she touched me, oh yeah, she touched me, and suddenly, no, it is the same. I'm all, we're almost done. You're having a good time. Hope you're having a good time and enjoying some of the nostalgia. One of the great singers that I love listening to on those albums was Old Blue Eyes himself. Old Blue Eyes, right? Now, he was a mess. Uh, I like to tell my show of singing lots of different styles, as you've heard. This particular style of song is affectionately known as a torch song. Now, I want you to think about Mickey Spillane, those books, Mickey Spillane, or um, those speakeasies, those smoky speakeasies with uh, Humphrey Bogart, right? And this particular song is a wonderful arrangement by Nelson Riddle called Angel Eyes. Hey, drink up all you. And order anything you see. And have fun, you happy people. The drink and the laughs on me. Try to think. That love 
who's not around. Yet it's uncomfortably near. My old heart ain't gaining any ground because my angel arms ain't here. They glow unbearably bright. Need I say, my love's misspent, misspent with angel eyes tonight. my last song. Again, my thank you, thank you, Barry, for inviting me. This has just been fabulous. Please donate if you can. I love to go to Vegas, and you can't beat Vegas without doing Bobby Darren. This sentiment goes out to all of you.
or will be in your keeping, awaking, a sleeping, laughing, weeping, longer than always. 